Um, but the question, the next question I want to ask you is this, which is what is the one piece of advice that you have gotten about building your own career? What is the one piece of advice that you have gotten to build your own career? Mazin, I'm going to come back to you on this question. By the way, I want everybody in the chat to put it in that piece of advice. Mazin, what about you? What is the one piece of advice that somebody has given you? Yeah, uh, I think the best thing is to love what you do because when you love what you do, then uh, everything will make sense. Oh, my God. That is, that is beautiful. That is, <laughs> that is really beautiful. Um, well, I, I, I want to give my piece of advice to you. And I'm really excited to do this, but I'm getting kind of, I don't know, Mazin, like this theater, I don't know, it's getting kind of old. I think we should just like switch it up a little bit. Hold on one second, all right? All right. Hey, hey! Do not play that song, Mazin. Take that song off, please. I'm not doing that TikTok trend. Yes, I am here, I've transported. Uh, if you don't know, I'm, I'm actually in Edmonton, I'm in Alberta, and this is, you know, this is what it looks like. Um, guys, I, I know this whole conference is called Influence, and I'm, I'm here to tell you a little bit of a secret, that you have way more power than you think. And I wanna let everybody know that you are actually in a giant game of status. And I'm not talking about likes and followers and views. See, the universities, the CPA, accounting firms, they all play on the fact that we are status-seeking monkeys. Let me explain, their entire Institutions are built on this idea of establishing a cultural moat. Let me describe what a cultural moat is. A cultural moat is represented by institutions that have built their brand and tradition over decades and centuries, and they essentially have the same playbook, and this is how it works. They create an overarching brand. They build scarcity by pre-selecting applicants, and then once you're in the game, then they train you, they educate you, and then you are stamped with their brand that you are the, from the University of York or you have a CPA or you're from PwC. Then you have this brand and then you go off in the world and you kill it. And guess what? All of these institutions are happy because they can reinforce that you're killing it and it just makes their cultural moat even stronger. And if you don't kill it, then they probably won't mention you. But this is, the, this is the entire playbook for cultural modes. It is a, a game of status and brand. Even in a world where talent is ubiquitous, knowledge is commoditized, I mean, you can, you can get your training off of YouTube, and technology is becoming a lot more of a commodity, still the cultural moat is strong. People still want to go to university, people still want to get a CPA, and they still want to work for really great firms. So why am I telling you this? Well, the reason why I'm telling you this is because you are in the game right now. You are in the simulation, and I wish somebody gave me this exact piece of advice that I'm gonna give you when I was in university. The best thing that you can do for your career is build your own personal moat. Your personal moat is your unfair advantage. It's how you show up differently in the world. It could be your unique skill. It could be building a community. It could be an asset. Your job is to build something so unfair, so differentiated that you actually don't need to mention that you are from this university or you got your CPA or that you worked at Deloitte or PwC. That is your unfair advantage. And the funny thing is, is that this thing is hosted by CPA Ontario. And I know this is gonna sound crazy, but CPA Ontario, even, they're in the business of producing accountants. And they don't want you to just be an accountant. They want you to go off and dent the world. They want you to develop your own personal mode. Because you know what? It reinforces their own cultural mode. And if you don't kill it, then they probably won't mention you at all. And guess what? Today is the greatest time to build your own personal moat in 2021. And the fastest way to do this is through content. There are no more barriers. There are no more middlemen. And guess what? It's free. The best thing that you can do for your own career is actually not to go to university or get a CPA or work for an amazing organization. It's actually to create your own personal moat. Now, Mazin, transport me back. 
Huh, whew, I'm back. And listen, I, I just want to I just want to remind everybody when it comes to a cultural moat is that uh, it's actually amazing to be have a cultural moat. I mean, that is actually one of the best defense mechanism. Once you build brand and tradition, um, and this is why the traditional institutions um, um, have uh, this defense mechanism. This is why Starbucks and Tim Hortons and the Los Angeles Lakers they have this cultural moat. Same thing with the CPA. Same thing with the, the traditional institutions. It's great. Um, and this whole idea of creating a personal moat, I believe in it so much. And I believe that this is the best advice that I can give to you. But Mazin, I'm going to come back to you. Like, what are people saying in the chat in terms of what is the best advice that they've got? Oh, my goodness. The chat is blowing up. So tons of network, being yourself, making meaningful connections, um, wow. building relationships, authenticity, yes. finding your why. Finding your why. I mean, there's just so many planning. Um, yeah. Lots of, lots of ideas. Well, thank you so much. And I, I think it's, it's, it's really finding what you are good at. You know, this morning I was shocked with the news that the late, great uh, Larry King passed away. And he had one unbelievable skill, which was um, uh, really the idea of, of asking very simple questions. And that's why he was one of the best interviewers in the world. Uh, you know, I grew up watching him, you know, with my parents. Um, just one simple skill and, and he built an entire career from that. So what can you do, by the way? What can you do? Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I bet the next video is gonna be even better. So hit subscribe and we'll chat in the comments.